Hey everyone, welcome to another bit of a bit of a serious video, more of a political one, but uh, it's something that I have to get out of my chest, you know, for quite a bit of while. Now you notice that that in uh, fucking Fallout New Fallout Four, Grand Theft Auto, wherever the fuck it may be, you know, at some point I'm always you know bashing like a, oh, that guy he's a Democrat. Thank you, Democrat, for getting away. Oh, you fucking liberal. You're fucking cheating me. Oh, you fucking communist. I mean, that's that's uh, there's like a bit of a a lot of general case about that, but it's kind of a bit of like a a very interesting thing of why I want to do that, and sure as well too. Like we got a, it's it's actually quite a bit of actually a good reason why I bought it because, be it on the internet, on television, or even on the fucking newspaper, I get myself quite a bit of a a, a very clear idea what it is because for me, I used to be a Democrat, but. Uh, that's a topic for another video. So what I really want to focus on is why the fucking hell is this Orwellian bullshit going on? And of, of course, I mean, there's no, there's at least you know I have the only way I can say uh, I can fucking make sense of it or at least maintain some bit of sanity is actually by bashing it as a bit of a joke on on some video game characters. Cause why? Cause I fucking can, and of course I mean I uh, basically uh, got myself a bit of an interesting idea of what's going on as well too. Because hell, I mean even for me, even me for YouTube, monetization strikes have uh, kind of got haven't yeah also gotten to me as well too. I can't do myself any more the f can't get any any more ad revenue, but fuck it. I mean what can I do? For that case, if YouTube if they're gonna be like that, install your ad block on Chrome and whatever the hell it may be. I don't give a fuck anymore. But anyways, like I was saying, is why is this Orwellian bullshit going on? What I mean by that? Simple. Gun bans. Uh, wait. Gun bans. Uh, censoring or freedom of speech. Uh, try to, let's say, uh, fuck up with the amendment rights and whatnot, right? Just because of what? They can get rid of it and, and why? I mean, the only reason I can see is, is simple. Let's suppose like I'm, you know, one, one of the left-wing leaders. And here's what I usually see. I want to get rid of the First Amendment rights, and I want to get rid of the Second Amendment rights because I fucking want to. That's basically the, that's basically the glimpse I get to it about it. They don't, they don't care, you know, if they're actually doing something good or bad. They're just doing it because they fucking want to. Because of abuse of power or not. Because why? Because, ah, uh, Donald Trump is not my president. My president is fucking Hillary Clinton. This is not the fact that she did some bad things in uh, in the world, like le like letting some fucking soldier die in fucking Benghazi, huh? I hope I hope I hope those guys you know are gonna grab them by the ankle and pull them down to hell. And it's not the one they done because for fuck's sake, I mean they're kind of, I mean it, it it's it doesn't take a genius to figure out that even the dead is has a bit of a hatred towards all this that's happening for on and for a good reason why too. So. The main point is uh, another thing that I wanted to point out as well too. Like the, it's just you know the left wing is it's it's cancerous, you know. Even though it's a bit of a topic that a lot of you know bullshit YouTubers and popular YouTubers and so on they all use on the internet. So you're like, ah, uh, uh, you know this video, this video is absolutely cancerous. Look, look at, look at, look at Gil. Uh, yeah, look at his mustache. It's absolutely cancerous. His, his beard, yeah, his beard, his absolute cancel was. You see his hair? Yeah, his hair is absolute cancel was. I mean, that kind of, kind of, the kind of cancerous that I'm saying about, about it. But it actually is, you know, the point where it actually become cancerous as well, too. Because even, you know, as well, too, like, say, even on a, in a lot of posts I see, they go like, uh, you give the Democrats an inch, they take it about a mile. That's actually true, that's actually true, to be honest, because... Let's say it's like the the for the full auto weaponry, right? Guess what? That's that's banned. Single single fire weapons, fucking banned. You you have like a, a bit of a lever action or gunnery. That's 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 banned. You got like a bit of like a pump action shotgun. That's fucking banned. And so on it goes. I mean, you can kind of you can kind of basically get a glimpse. I mean, how much is going on? And they're not gonna stop about it until they all they just cheat their fucking way through about it. And yeah, I get it. Because, like I said, I used to be a Democrat, and, uh, uh, you know, but I always, you know, have flashbacks from the past, so I can kind of learn from it, and can kind of give it a bit of a glimpse about it. And how much does all this power abuse goes? 
all just to has, hashtag uh, defy Trump or something like that. And it's actually, uh, actually, you know, it may sound like a bit of a bad joke, but actually be true about it, unfortunately. I really, you know, wished this was a nightmare. I wish it was just, just, a, just a thought. I wish it was all just a nightmare or anything about it, even though I said nightmare twice, because this is pretty much bad. I wish it was a double nightmare, but it isn't. Unfortunately, it isn't, and I can already give myself a clear glimpse on about it why. It's, uh, like I said, cancerous. I just repeat myself a bit of a broken record, but forget about that. But what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that it's basically... Count Dankula, he is he was fucking fa facing fucking prison, not jail, prison. Even life in prison for that matter, because those guys fucked me. They wouldn't even care, give a shit if it was to live or die. I mean, it was just rot during himself for the rest of his life. Uh, who would who, fucking care, right? That's right, no one. No one actually would care about it if, if someone like that was to live or die, because uh, even though he had like a communist symbol on his chest, he's a... Uh, He's a Nazi, yeah, so he, des he, he deserves to die, he's, he's not a human being, right? Good. Yeah, I, I'm totally f uh, with freedom of speech. Yeah, 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 fuck white people, yeah, yeah. Or some shit like that. It's, it's absolutely cancerous. And, you know, if we just can't let, you know, just can't let that slide. I mean, despite the fact we have a lot of respect for a lot of people or not, but, uh, that shit just gone just just went a little too far. It's uh becoming quite a bit of a it's getting you know quite a bit scary and quite a bit dangerous as well too because let's admit, Google, Facebook, Twitter, and no doesn't matter who the whoever the fuck it is. I mean they're just gonna see you know like uh hmm I don't see that guy is actually you no know, gonna 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 be severely punished for something he didn't say, and I didn't knew you know that punishment can actually. That severe can actually be so justified. Holy shit. That's so progressive. I should probably do the same thing. I'm gonna start, you know, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start, you know, just going myself with some very basic severe rules. If he doesn't do it, I'm just gonna send him to fucking prison because he fucking deserved it, doesn't he? I get it. I fucking get it. <sighs> Even as well, too, you know, it's, it's a lot of different things are just painful as well too. And I'm just, you know, look at it sometimes like this because I have like two monitors. But like I was saying is that uh why the fucking hell? Or these guys actually all that all that persistent about it. Actually the point no they they wouldn't they wouldn't care enough if people would start getting hurt, they would die and they would just get dismembered or they just get die, just die off in very brutal ways. I mean I kind of got, I kind of get the the clear idea. These guys wouldn't give a a single fuck if he wants to die or not. And I can see about it as well too. Like uh, let's say fucking Europe, huh? How that uh, open border policy going so far? What's that? Oh, I get it. It's for your cult. It's for uh, whatever bullshit I ideology that is, right? I get it. I fucking get it how it is like uh, uh, yeah if a guy who just uh, goes ahead and chops up a uh, little white girl into pieces it he just would go away because the rest of the guy would be fucking racist huh I get it even though he was a little girl but fuck it she was uh, she was white she fucking deserved it huh I get it I fucking get it especially too when uh, someone go ahead and say <laughs> people kind <laughs> now that's a bit cringe as well too, like, despite the fact that we also, you know, love to go to YouTube and watch about a, a few cringy videos about some people doing this or that, but let's admit, there hasn't been a single cringy moment, I mean, there has never been a single moment in politics which have cringed so hard, people kind, who the fuck wrote that? Just because it says mankind, you would say like, ah, uh, I seldom say it because it has man. And man are are not human beings, no, they're monsters. They're so they're monsters. They're not human beings. Yeah, I get it. I fucking get it. But but then again, let's 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 be honest about that. 
Who even writes that shit? Even, even, you know, I can only even, you know, I can only feel bad for the poor bastard who even had to say that while cameras and get, and get, you know, ridiculed by it. Even I heard that some reports saying that his, uh, his, uh, approval ratings are actually lower than Trump's. Now, I, and I'm not gonna have to, I'm not gonna say who that is because, like I said, at least I have a bit of a, a small, sh a bit of a small, I feel a bit bad for the guy, to be honest, but, uh, that's a bit of my, a bit of a weakness I got. I, uh, I love people too much. That's, that's my problem. I'm too soft. That's, this is my problem. That's what I care about to entertain you guys. Anyway, like I was saying, is that, uh, that, uh, you know, it, it's basically, no, it's painful, no, to the point where how cancerous left-wing politics has become. They wouldn't care, you know, if, if people were to, uh, if you were to live or die. Being because uh, he was like, uh, he was fucking white, or he was, uh, I'm not gonna do it, he was Asian, or he was, it was maybe like a Native American, right? Hell, I mean, I even I bet to the point where there were even... If they were even black or African American for that matter, if they were to die brutally by some some new refugee invasive invader or some shit like that, I bet you a dollar that they wouldn't give a shit. Ah, uh, I he deserves to die because uh, even despite the fact that he was black, he was black, but uh, yeah, he, he was a right winger, so yeah, he deserves to die. After all, we know that life is only those for who are on the left wing, right? Yeah, those conservatives, they are, they are subhuman scum, they deserve to die. Uh-huh, I get it. Especially when, when the, uh, when our fellow over there, he said actually that, uh, that this country is too European. What the fuck does that have to do about it? I mean, have I, have my, I have, I you know, some European background, but what the fuck does that have to do? It's quite racist, to be honest. Even though, know, like, if a, if, you know, if a black person as well, too, he has some, uh, European black background. Sorry about that. A long tongue. Super white bit numb too. Even even also if a is even if a, if a bit of say of a, of a African American person has a bit of a of a European background. The fuck does that have to do, huh? You're you're totally being racist as well too. That's to some people who's uh, who even who even let's say about it. I mean shit. I mean actually uh, part European. I'm actually quite proud of that. I'm actually very proud about it. Sure, that even as I take the take the expense, you know, to make me, even to make fun of me as well too. Because why? Because I fucking can. That's why. It's, what I'm saying is basically, you know, like, uh, it's some people, you know, like they might say that they're doing good, but if you really see what they're doing, that's bad. It's getting getting people killed, getting people arrested. That's uh, that's when you know you got a bit of a problem. Oh shit, my glasses. But uh, like I was saying, like that's when you, know, you get a bit of a problem because you know those are people dying out there. Those are people I, I just say that I actually care for, even though I don't really know them. But uh, I love you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a few ideas, and notes to, to say about that. I'm gonna leave that for another video because that's another topic. Yes, it's another topic about what to say about it. But like I was saying as well too, you know, it's just like, uh, there's a fucking reason why, you know, why, uh, why I actually, like, uh, despise the left with a passion. And shit, I mean, I'm gonna just come, I'm just because I did, it's just because I made this video. It's not, it's not a fucking apology video. I don't fucking apologize for shit here. <laughs> I mean, sure, I do have a, I only show remorse for the people that I hurt that I actually love. Why the fuck would I show remorse for the people I hate? Right? Oh, uh, because the world would be a, a much more fair place if we all start to love each other. Of course, I mean, but uh, how can how can actually someone love another person if they themselves are not one to love, right? I mean, shit, they fucking hate you. Why the fuck would you actually love them? Yeah, that's that's weird for me actually. It's actually basically basically pretty pretty weird because you know. At this point, no, I, I can see as well too, like, uh, at least the way how I see it, it's not just me, but, uh, 
uh, fucking everyone, you know, the left wing just kind of hates it. But, you know, despite the fact that I know we got, let's say, uh, people on the left that are keep bash keep being bashed as conservative and Republicans, uh, shit, I mean, those guys, let them in. I mean, let them in as Kekistanis or whatnot, because uh, we love them. Right? Of course we do. Of course we do. Because, like I said, we were, the world was much more of a fairer place if we all loved each other. That's actually that's actually true. Also, before it, I uh, have to end this video as well too. Like I have to say as well too that uh, I'm not getting any more ad revenue on on YouTube, but that's uh, I'm not really all that surprised about it because if you see all the ad apocalypse that's been going on, it's uh, actually quite it's quite obvious. I mean uh, that's been going on for quite a bit of while. Sure, it was only a matter of time before it hit me. I mean even I knew that behind my in the back of my head. But, uh, hey, I mean, to be honest, I mean, despite the fact that I, we all do, we all rely on money as well, too. Uh, you too, I mean, sure, if I get, if I get paid, you know, at least a $100 uh, dollar check that Google supposedly would, pr wouldn't, uh, promise, right? But, uh, where's that promise, huh? Where'd it happen, leave to? Oh, yeah, that's right. Nowhere. And nowhere has it, has it been led to. Nowhere has it been, and nowhere will it be. Quite a bit poetic, if you think, if I see it. Now, to be honest, I mean, the main reason, you know, like, uh, at least why I do YouTube is, like, if I made you laugh, if I made you smile, boom. It's, uh, the video did its charm, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did, and I'm gonna start rambling for the meanwhile, because... I ain't gotta say uh, what I want to get on my chest, partially, but not all of it. But, yeah, I'll see you guys, uh... Sooner or later, <laughs> in a bit of a video, I don't know. I'm first just gonna slap a few things over here, and I'm just going to uh, do something new. I'll see. I'll think about it.